I started visiting Glenard Jog when I was 14 years of age. I used to wag school on Thursdays and um, it was like a wonderland to me. Joel's office where they used to have wouldn't have been bigger than half this room and I was always fascinated by all the diamonds these girls, they must have bought all the diamonds from the estates and things like that. You'd have to wear sunglasses virtually from all the diamonds they were wearing. And you would see treasures in the place and the characters that used to go there and the dealers um, were as much characters as the articles they bought. The first piece I bought was a painting of a young child that speaks to me now just as much as it spoke to me then. It's absolutely beautiful, it's innocence and it's the way it was painted, the fingers, the hands and the chair that the child's sitting in and I just, it was something that I could afford, it was a lot of money, it was my pocket money, it was, it was one guinea I paid for it and I do not know who it's by, I've asked many people to look at it and no one can identify who it is. Uh, but I still love it just as much as the day I bought it. I spend at least two, two hours a day, I'd say, looking at catalogues around the world because there are artists that are obscure in other countries that, that you've never seen before. And it amazes me how certain artists, history repeats itself. Artists in this country became or are obscure and their greatness, if you look at the time when the paintings were done, has to be written. My two rules, and I've never ever, I don't think, even unconsciously as a, as a young person, I've never even thought any other way. The two rules are, do you love it and does it mean something to you? And the second thing is, can you afford it? As one of the, one of the reasons that you're involved in art, it's no different than any other form of beauty or discovery. It's like finding new land or finding something that no one else has seen. I listen to Italian and French music, but I don't understand a word of Italian and French. But it's the same as art. You know, it, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the sound is the translation to your mind of sensation. And no different in art. When you see something that is beauty, whatever it may be, a flower painting, a still life, a great work, a work by an amateur. It's a sensation from your eye to your brain, and it's as simple as that.